Hi, today I'm sharing some books that I have read and learned from. The first one is Flags of Our Fathers by James Bradley. And this one is dedicated to the memory of Belle Block, Catherine Bradley, Irene Gognon, Nancy Hayes, Goldie Price, Martha Strank, and all mothers who have sent their boys to war. All these books I've read, and um, the second one that I wanted to share was Fly Boys by James Bradley as well. An unforgettable story about eight forgotten World War II flyers. Dear Mom, A Sniper's Vietnam. had something, oh, I wanted to read from this book. The four of us who joined the Marine Corps together returned and settled within a 50-mile radius of our hometown. Between us, we share six Purple Hearts. And this was written by Joseph T. Ward. By Jack McLean. Loon, a marine story. This is a gripping story. Loon will make you laugh, cry, and wonder why we cannot find better ways to resolve disputes among nations. I know it's not always possible, but that's a very good book. Um, Tim O'Brien wrote The Things They Carried and the things they carried. Belongs high on the list of best fiction about any war, crystallizes the Vietnam experience for everyone, and exposes the nature of all war stories. That was um, a quote from the New York Times Book of the Century. Final Salute, A Story of Unfinished Lives. This book should be required reading for any politician who plays a role in sending young Americans off to war. One Bullet Away, The Making of a Marine Officer by Nathaniel Fick. Harrowing deserves close reading and serious discussion. That's a quote from the Washington Post. Why Marines Fight by James Brady. Did I say the last one wrong? No, it's Bradley, yeah. It's just similar names. Again, why Marines Fight. Um, acknowledgement is I'm grateful to the Marines in this book who told me of their wars and of their lives. This book belongs to them. And in a special way to Colonel Walt Ford of Leatherneck Magazine who provided me with map coordinates. The Zookeeper's Wife, A War Story. A lovely story about the Holocaust might seem like a grotesque oxymoron, but in The Zookeeper's Wife, Diane Ackerman proves otherwise. Here is a story of human empathy and its opposite. Thank you for watching.